So, game four of this Knicks Heat series that the Knicks have been struggling in and Julius Randle was off to a good start, which we have not seen during these playoffs, well, mostly due to injuries and, well, just overall struggles and it sucks. But here he started off really well, Bam Adebayo started off well also, he had his best half of the playoffs as he was just cooking early on and getting whatever he wanted at the basket here with Ali Yup. They play really well around Mitchell Robinson, the Heat that do. I gotta give them a lot of props for that. Here's Jalen Brunson getting it going as he gets off Gabe Vincent and hits the easy floater, man. I love some sweet, sweet, sweet floaters. But every time the Knicks had a run, the Knicks would respond. And it was mostly from beyond the arc and splashing those three balls. And it was just really good and offensive rebounding as Jimmy Butler gets it to go here and there were a lot of offensive boards in this fourth quarter for the Heat. And here's another one from Kyle Lowry. It, it was... Uh, it felt like we were watching, you know, it was stuck and you were watching the same thing over and over again. But it was every time somebody else and the Heat win just like that. Those offensive rebounds in that fourth quarter were spectacular. They had, I'm pretty sure, like six, seven of them to just one from the Knicks and they out rebounded the Knicks by nine rebounds tonight which is a lot of course and those offensive rebounds in the fourth quarter really contributed to that Bam with 23 and 13 probably his best game of the playoffs 27 6 and 10 for Jimmy Butler once again in control played a really good game Man, Jimmy is just that guy. There's not much more you can say. Max Struess continues his much improved play. He had 16 points. Lowry and um, Caleb Martin had a good game off the bench. The bench unit with Kyle Lowry as essentially the sixth man has been really good for the Heat. And outplaying the Knicks bench with tonight, they were missing, obviously. Emmanuel quickly after he, after he got hurt during, during the last series. So that was rough for them and basically they had no contribution from the bench Josh Hart was in foul trouble all night he fouled out even so that was rough Julius Randle fouled out with six six uh, fouls of course six turnovers he had he had a good start still not the best game you would want to have 32 and 11 for Jalen Brunson he man he's just a hooper but um, besides RJ Barrett uh, and Julius Randle, nobody else came to play, it felt like. It, they have neutralized Mitchell Robinson as well as possible. Seven rebounds, even though he still had four offensive rebounds, is simply not enough. And considering the way they rebounded against the Cavs, it's a spectacular job done by the Miami Heat, man. And they now have three games to win one. <laughs>